This little secret pocket folder was created for a swap that I am participating in in Junk Journal Craft and Chat. Very friendly group, swaps going on all the time. This particular folder or secret pocket was designed by Angela Kerr, and her video is linked below in my description. It is a great concept, very easy to put together. I did make some changes and how I decorated it. So that is why I'm doing this video. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe. My whole goal is to put out quick, easy videos, 10 to 15 minutes in length, quick, to the point, no chatter. I will ask you to hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new content. These are the three that I have made thus far. The first one I made and the second one I made off Angela's description and I couldn't get a finish right on how it closed together and here's one that I made and, and cut too close. So we will try to eliminate, for me, that issue by utilizing deli paper, gel press printed with acrylic paint. I'm going to start by cutting the paper bag. Now, she used a smaller bag. I happen to have these giant ones in stock, so I'm going to use the giant ones. And I will just line up my metal ruler right up there to the bottom of that bag to create this little pocket. So you see how that works. Now I'm taking the jelly or the deli paper and I'm going to Mod Podge it on to this paper bag. So I'm getting this paper bag kind of wet, keeping my hands um, in it to avoid gluing it shut. And I'm going to fold that deli paper over the top of the paper bag. This, I think, will eliminate that kind of rough edge coming together at the front. And my edges were kind of rough. I think my exacto knife needs to be a new blade, but I just didn't like that kind of jagged look that brought it together. So rather than doing the prudent thing and changing out my exacto knife break, break, <laughs> blade, I'm just going to use a different process to decorate. The Mod Podge glue and water. Um, that I've made myself. I'll link. I'll link the recipe for that up above. So I'm just going to get this down on all of the sides. I'm going to stick that piece of cardstock in there to avoid gluing it shut. And I'm just going to flip this over and glue the, glue the fold over onto the back. So I have glued it to all the sides now and have everything completely wrapped on the two closure sides. So now I'm working on the inside of the edges. So what creates that box? The four sides. I'm gluing deli paper front and back to all four of those sides. Folding the deli paper over the top of the paper bag edge. That I think will create a nice closure. And once I get everything glued on, I will just retrain that fold. So we have that pretty much done. I'm just going over it and gluing down any rough spot. Everything is glued, retraining those folds by pushing that down, just giving it another little coat of the Mod Podge for strength. We'll let that dry. Now I'm going to cut a piece of scrapbook paper for the back. And I've chosen this blue flower, which works well with the cold gray and burnt sienna that I used on my deli paper. 
inking around the edges. And now that should fit right inside there. This was four inches by six inches, was the, what the inside dimension of this bag is, was, is. And I'll just glue that into the bottom here. There, that fits in nicely. I'm going to fold it up and turn it over and give it another little press to help adhere everything well. And now I'm going to cut the back. And I think I'm going to cut that down. I cut it the four to six inch size, but I think I want to leave a little lip around the edge. I have put the deli paper to provide me with that opportunity. And I'm just using a corner rounder by Crocodile and I'm cutting a half inch corner there, inking it up. And we'll put the glue on the scrapbook paper and flip it over and see if we can get it centered before the glue sets. This art glitter glue dries fast, so you have to be precise. And there we go. And I have a piece of cardstock. It's uh, actually the front cover to a pad of watercolor paper. It's a nice weight. I'm pulling in some parchment paper, putting it over the top of this, and just folding, ironing it with a hot iron, dose steam, to just retrain those folds and, and get all the wrinkles and bubbles out. Now I'll glue this stock down to more scrapbooking paper. And there, I think that will look nice. So let's determine what we want the other side to look like when we open it up. And I think I would like something different. I don't think I want it the same. So I have this other piece of scrapbooking paper that goes well with this. So we'll just utilize this, trim around the outside edge. And there we go. We'll get it all trimmed up, get the corners rounded, ink it up, and we will be ready to glue it down. Just making sure that we don't have anything loose. There comes the crocodile corner rounder, half inch setting. Vintage photo ink to give it that just a little bit of distress. And now we shall glue that on. So I'm just putting glue on half of it because we only want it to glue to one side. And there you go. Now we're ready to decorate that front panel. And I have a, a little piece up there where it was the edge of the wax paper that had that little zigzaggy cut that's bothering me a little bit. So I'm going to correct that by putting another piece of deli paper over the top of it and we'll trim that up. And now for the focal, I'm utilizing a toilet paper roll that I'm going to stick inside my embossing machine. And then I will ink the relief or the embossed design with some just, I think I use potting soil, not potting soil, but uh, watering can color, which is a gray. We'll lay some cheesecloth on the back of it and kind of pull those threads out so it's very frayed and grungy. And we'll plop this down in the center. And there you go. thought about adding that butterfly on the back, but I think I'll just stick the butterfly inside it to pass it along to who I am trading with when I, that is the sign. So here are 
the three that I made. This one was made with complete scrapbooking paper and washi tape like Angela does in her video. This was made with my own gel press printed paper and washi tape. And this one is the one that I created out of deli paper. So there are the three. This is the one that I will be trading. And you can see it opens up into that wonderful little pocket. And I stuck my little mascot down in here to, to show it open. There it is closed. The back. And once again, the three secret folder pockets or secret pockets that I made. Once again, my name is Peg. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if so, take a moment and subscribe and come back and join me as I continue on this process of trying to create 10 to 15, 20 minute max videos for you to enjoy. Thank you so much. Bye for now.